Fine, kind of finding his way a little bit. Um, we saw the walk today. It was good to see, which, which is such a big part of his game, and obviously the power to go with it. So, uh, you know, I think starting to, you can see, settle in a little bit, and uh, hopefully today's the day that, you know, starts to get him going. Red Gardner had struggled at the plate, just two hits in his previous 27 at-bats coming into today and obviously had three hits today did you see something different that he was doing as far as approach at the plate not much I, I you know i thought he was i thought he went up with a good plan at first a b and and was real aggressive early kind of hunting a fastball there and hits the homer obviously um which was big um you know I, I mean got some pitches in the zone i thought was was aggressive in in what he was looking for and, and aggressively looking to swing the bat so good day for him and and obviously a big part of the win Kind of a bizarre rally there in that sixth inning with a lot of walks from Tampa Bay pitchers and error that kind of continued things there. I imagine you'll you'll take whatever you can get when you're playing a team like that. Hey, absolutely. I mean, that's that's a great example of you, you control the strike zone, you can have an inning like that. And if you're playing against a team like Tampa Bay, you better control the strike zone or they're going to make you look bad. And that was a classic example there of making it really difficult on them, you know, especially when they had, you know, Castillo and Stanek in that game they're those those are tough customers uh, I thought we did a really good job there of you know giving ourselves a chance you know Tyro breaks it open obviously but a lot of really good at bats in that inning Joe to the left uh, how would you assess the the pitching plan for today um, and does this pave the way for for more openers um look I mean with our situation it's certainly possible that we could use it um you know, it, it, we, we weren't in the ideal situation necessarily today, um, just with having a couple guys down and a lot of our leverage guys haven't been used. So um, hats off to, you know, Greeny wasn't perfect today, but but gave us enough. Um, you know, Nestor came in, gave up the home run, but kept on pitching and got us through the middle innings. Obviously, Otto gets us out of a huge jam there. And then by by adding on, now we're able to get, length out of chance and kind of save some other guys down there and, and chance came in and, and really I thought threw the ball really well. Dan. That was uh, Urshela. Uh, I think he's okay. You know, it was just, you know, having a little hard time running and, um, I, you know, I don't think it's anything too major, but we were kind of cautious there with just he wasn't feeling great and decided to get him out of there. Meredith. Anyone else? Joel? I know it's become routine, but Urshel has been your hottest hitter. He goes down, and the guy who replaces him gets the biggest hit of the game. Do you have some thought, appreciation, that it feels like whatever button you push, somebody's ready to do something significant for you? You know, Tyro, to me, has been, you know, one of the faces of what we're doing right now. Um, again, you know, missing a lot of last year this guy's a prospect um in a lot of ways we kind of rushed him up here and, and threw him into the fire and he's handled every situation perfectly every every time we're in a situation middle of the game where we're thinking through a possible move he's he's thinking along with the game he's prepared um he goes out there and plays with with a calm and a poise and he's come up with a lot of big hits, a lot of big defensive plays. Um, he's been he's been a really good player for us.